Hi, I'm Dr. Cami O'Casey. This is Scarlett. She's our model today. I'm going to demonstrate how to do a coupage. So hopefully you've already taken your dog to your vet for coughing most likely, and they've told you to go ahead and perform coupage at home. Hopefully this is just a reminder for you. So with coupage, we use it to try to help break up material in the lungs so that they can cough it back up. Most commonly it's used for dogs with pneumonia and it's used in combination with other treatments such as oral antibiotics or nebulization is the most common thing that we use first. Nebulization helps to the breathing treatment so they breathe in medications, things that open up their airways and break up the mucus. So when you're performing a coupage it's best to have them kind of in a standing position if you can if they're strong enough to stand Scarlett's a large breed dog, so with her standing, her elbows are away from her chest, so I have full access to her, to the whole part of her chest here. You're going to start with your hand in a C shape. You don't want it completely bent over, but you want enough space in between your hands so that when you put it against their chest, there's some space there. You, do, you don't want your hand flat. The sound is very different when you make it flat than when you have it cut. Probably the most common mistake people make when they're doing coupage is the amount of pressure that they put on the chest. It's good just to get used to it at first. Again, soft hand just to get, kind of get used to the sound. And then the cupped hand. And you want to give it a nice, nice good tap. Sounds almost like horse hoofs. You can use one hand at a time or you can use two. it's best to do one side at a time, especially on a large dog. To do a few on one side, and then on the other side. That should help break it down. The dog might cough while you're doing it, or they may cough a little bit later. It may take a few treatments, usually done a few times a day. And again, in conjunction with the rest of the treatments your vet has given you. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.